Hello, my name is Paul Tranny, and I'm going to show you how you can generate image assets from a Photoshop file. Now, keep in mind, within the past year, we've given you the ability to copy the CSS from various layers. So that's probably what you want to do with these various boxes uh, and text and things like that. But when it comes to the images, what do you do? Well, do you have to use the slice tool like we've been doing since, what, in like 95 or whatever? Uh, no. You don't have to do that. In fact, that got really ugly really fast. What about the transparency for this logo, for instance, and even the background? Well, nowadays, all you need to do with the latest update uh, by Creative Cloud, by the way, just hit that update button, and then you'll have the ability to, you know, take any layer and then just rename it. I can call this logo dot jpeg if I want to. Or since this has transparency with it, I can say logo p n g and this could be ping 24 bit or ping 8 bit but nonetheless i'll just rename that logo png just like that uh, notice how i have this main image that's pretty complex this is actually a layer group and i can take an entire layer group and rename it say jpeg if i want to okay scrolling down say for instance this large image well i want to export it out as a jpeg and in this case, I want to make it about 60% quality since it's a pretty large image. So JPEG 6. Same thing for this background. JPEG, let's make that 4 for 40%. Okay, so it's going to give me the ability to optimize uh, my content as well. And then from there, I can go down to File, Generate, image assets. Now before I do that, I'm going to point out that this is where my PSD is. Uh, there's no other folder here, but watch what happens when I do that. In fact, let's just move this over so we can see it happen in action, generate image assets. Right here, boom, there it is, and that was awfully fast. It's generated all of these images, but you know what? There's also a live connection, because what if I want to change this image? So it looks, it looks pretty good. What if I want to, you know, take that image and change it in some way? So in this case, jumping in here, uh, taking that image of this lady, and let's just flip it horizontally. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do. In fact, I'm not even going to hit save. I don't have to, but because since there's that check mark there, it means that it updates automatically. And you can see she's flimming, excuse me, she's swimming the same direction. All right, so that's pretty good for generating assets. But what about all that CSS and other stuff? Well, I want to be able to uh, export out all that content as well, the positioning, the size of everything, and I can do that by generating an edge reflow project. Selecting that, going to my folder, you can see it generates this folder right here, my assets, but also this reflow file, giving me the position and size of everything, and I can open that up in the latest version of reflow, which you can get from Creative Cloud as well. There it is. There's my content all this content with the positioning and everything. Obviously, I need to you know, make a couple adjustments here for this text, but this is a great starting point for making this design responsive. So I can come in here, maybe select uh, all, say, four of those elements and group them together or make them part of a parent. But keep in mind that Photoshop is smart enough to know uh, what needs to be an image and what can be generated with CSS. Say for instance, this box is actually uh, just a div, if you will, where I can round the corners and do what I need to there, okay? All right, but there's more going on here, because check this out, right over here in the latest version of Reflow, we have this Photoshop button. You can see this is connected to Index PSD, okay? And that's because the Index PSD is open. Uh, so I'm going to switch over to Photoshop and I'm going to switch to this About PSD because I want to generate a page for this About page. All right, so I'm going to go back to Reflow and notice how it's referencing that open document. So what I can do from there is I can create a new page or even just you know steal all the assets and put them in the library uh, if I want to do that. But in this case, create a new page uh, from that open PSD file like it's doing right now. 
and there it is there's my about page and again I can make those adjustments but you can see my multiple pages right in here uh, my first page and then my second page and I can always preview this in a browser but keep in mind that uh, this is a web-based design surface so it's not really that necessary but here's the design uh, you can see that it still needs a little work, but from there you can generate uh, your final design like I have set up right here. Uh, the final design that is responsive, created in Reflow. You can see how this menu goes from the side to the top, and then that content reshuffles accordingly. Uh, all started in Reflow and then just added additional code to it uh, for my web experience, as you can see. So uh, get them both on creativecloud.com, uh, the Photoshop update, as well as the latest Reflow update as well. And thanks so much for watching.